Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri, another method tutorial. Today we talk about uh, differential calculus, integration, differentiation in general, and in particular calculating area volume and mass uh, using differential calculus. Let's start with something very basic. So I write the function here, fx is equal to square root of x. And this is my function here. Uh, if I want to find the first derivative of this function, I simply can write here fx and I highlight it and I use this function here, which is the first derivative, and simply I can calculate that this is the value here. But if I want to get a uh, second, third, and fourth derivative, if it's required, I could do the same thing. I can do the second derivative of this function. However, the more uh, logical way, an easier way, is using the capability of Maple to understand the notation. Maple understands uh, lots of mathematical notation. For example, if I want to do the second derivative, or I mean, let's start with the first derivative, I would write the prime x, and it looks like this. So f prime x, which is the stands for first derivative of function x, and the answer would be nothing but what we have. So if I want to get the third derivative of function f, I go one, two, three, triple prime, and this is the answer. So if I want to find the value of the triple, uh, the third derivative of the function at a certain point, for example, at 3, I would write f123 prime 3, and this is the answer. So if I want to find the actual value of this, right click, you go to approximate, depends on how accurate you want, 5 decimal is uh, sufficient enough, and this is the value. Now let's go and actually plot this function here you go to right click plot 2d plot and this is what you get a uh, right click you go to axes and then you go to properties let's uh, plot that between 1 to 4 and this is what I get now if I want to find the area underneath this uh, curve and the x-axis, so I'm talking about this area, sorry, uh, yes, this area, from here, well, not quite, it should be quite straight, uh, from here, the area of this shape, so I have to do, obviously, the integration of this function between 1 to 4. Let's do that and see if we can calculate it here. So for doing that, there are a couple of ways. I show you the first method. I write here fx, which has been defined. So I simply go here, highlight it, and use this definite integration. And then I simply write here from 1 to 4. These are the limits. And the answer would be 14 divided by 3. That's uh, very simple and logical. However, if you want to use uh, the second or triple, uh, double or triple integral, so there is an easier way uh, which I suggest you uh, to use. So let's just define the function again x. And this function, you can simply right click on the function. Then you go to the construction, and then you go to definite integral. Of course, you have only one variable, x, and you do from 1 to 4, and you end up having the exact same function. Now, right-click again. You go to evaluate from int, and this is what you get here, the same answer. Now, now, what if I want to find the area of a geometry created by evolution of this function about x? Let me show what I mean exactly. So, have a look at what we have here. 
So this is the, the function actually here. This is the square root of x between 1 to 4. This purple area is the one we already calculated. Now I want to calculate the blue area, the surface of the geometry created. So for doing that, this is the actual uh, formula here. So it depends on if you are evolving about x or y. This is talking about, about x. So if you want to uh, find the area of the shape that caused by the revolution of the function about x is the integral of between a to b, in this case 1 to 4, 2 pi y, my function y is the square root of x, then square root of 1 plus the first derivative of y with respect to x square of that. So therefore the function is the function is f is equal to the square root of x between 1 to 4. The first derivative is here and the area is the integration of 1 to 4, 2 pi square root of x square root of 1 plus 1 divided by 4x. Let's just write this one in on maple and let's see what we can get. So the function is 2 pi and when I write pi I type pi and then I uh, get control space and this is pi. Then I have multiply by fx square root of 1 plus f prime x square. So this is what how exactly I wrote it here. So 2 multiply 2 pi fx. I believe I should have written here also. Let me go here. Yes, here. So a multiplication sign. And oh, there's uh, something missing here. Let's see what is wrong. Oh, yes, because I'm missing a parenthesis here. So this is the answer here. Now let's use the second method and find this value. So I right click go to construction I go to definite integral I go X from 1 to 4 okay and this is what I get then again right click you go to evaluate this is the answer and then of course I want to find it I go right click 5 decimal and this is the answer 30.846 Hopefully the same as what we have here. Now, what if I want to find the volume of this? For the volume, I simply have to use this function. So the, for the volume, the formula is the integration between 1 to 4 pi. A square of the function, the integration of... 1 to 4 pi, the square of the initial function dx. So in this case here, so I write pi multiply by fx square. This is the function here. Then I do the construction, integration, x. 1 to 4 then I go and evaluate here and I can simply find the approximation of it it's same answer now let's just have a little more complex function so let's call it y x is equal to 1 plus sine x. This is the function I have. Let's plot this function first. You go plot, 2D plot. That's how it looks like. Let's just 
have this between 0 to 2 pi. So I go here, axis, properties from 0 to 2 pi, which is 6.28. This is the function I have. Now, I can simply calculate the area underneath. I don't do that, but let's talk about the area of the geometry created by evolution of this uh, function about x. So when, when I do a revolution, see what's going to happen here. So, the shape looks like this. So this is my shape actually. I'm going to go to area here. That's what I have. I magnify it here. So this is the exact function plotted from 0 to 2 pi. This one. And then it has been uh, have a revolution about x-axis and then you have the area and then you fill it up and then you get the actual function here. So actually in this particular case I may better use 2 just to get a better hang of it. And let me just delete this one here. So I plot this one because if I do 1 then I get uh, different value than what we have. So let's do plot it again. Plot. This is the function here. And I go again, just kind of a quick uh, review here. Axes, properties, go from 0 to 6.28, which is 2 pi. Apply. And this is what I have here. Now let's just calculate the area. So for calculating the area, we know that we need to have 2 pi. Go here two multiply by here. Just go up here. Yes. Sometimes it doesn't do what it has to. So this is the function here now. So I have to actually go to math. Yes. So I have 2 pi. And then the function is yx. You may not need this parenthesis. Multiply by square root of 1 plus the first derivative of square. This is what I need actually. So this is what I have here. 2 pi y x multiplied by 1 plus square uh, root of first derivative. Let's use the same concept. We go here. Construction. Integration. x from 0 to 6.28. OK. And then you go right click, evaluate, and this is the answer. If I want to find the volume, in that case, all I have to do is pi. Uh, let me just go back here to show you. So for the volume here, so what I have, this is the equation I used. So I use pi for the second one here. Pi multiplied by 2 plus sine s square so I have to do exactly what I did here so I write 2 sorry pi multiply by I write here fx and I do the again same thing we go here integration x from 0 to 6.28 and this is the value here you go and you do the evaluate and this is the answer 
So this would conclude this part, and in the next uh, lecture we more talk about uh, finding the mass, and we continue this lecture. Thank you very much.